Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back at Colony Survival. I am underground. I've done some digging, and I set up some dorms as well. So let's get you oriented to what I've been doing. Uh, these crates here are no longer needed. Boom, boom, boom. That one's not either. So here we are. These are the guard towers near the mammoth the tree. And let's head in. Like I said, I've had diggers keeping pretty busy. I have a bunch working right now, and I have like seven more jobs to do some digging that are not filled yet. As you can see in the top left, we have seven unemployed. But I set up some basic dorms here. I think I pushed this out. We can finish these. Let's do it. Let's do it right now while I'm looking at it. Finish out just some basic, basic, basic dorms here. Way more than we need, as usual. And I want these 10 beds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we'll just extend these walls out. And get this done before we leave. We're going to head out of here, I think, this episode. Uh, we're not going to be as far along as I wanted to be. Um, but we'll get some miners down. I'll show you kind of what I discovered here in a minute. Let's just get some basic dorms finished up. Boom, boom. That's just a block from a digger who's filling this out for me. Or yeah, we have way more beds than we need down here, but this is more for looks than anything else. Oh man, the more I hurry, the slower it takes. Or the longer it takes, I should say. Boom. Let's get this wall in. That all looks good. Beds. Uh, food, if you look at the top right, is down to 111. Again, that's down about 13,000 from where I remember it at the highest point. Oh, man. Yeah, we still have diggers that are working uh, right now. The shift should be starting. And it does look like the ore that we're looking for is actually underneath the mammoth tree and only under the mammoth tree. And it goes down several levels. Uh, let's get torches and grocery stations here and then we'll be able to pack it in. For this area, boom, boom. Boom. Okay, groceries. Boom. I could hear diggers underneath me doing their thing. All right, that is that. This stairway is an old stairway that goes up and allows us to cross over to the other side, I believe. We go straight through there. That'll take us to the other side. Uh, here's where we are again. By the, oh, look at that! I'm no. I thought I was missing Merlons. They just were blending into the background. Mammoth tree. Nothing on top of the towers yet. We're gonna do that maybe in another episode. I kind of want to hightail it out of here and get towards solving the food issue. So again, the dorms near the mammoth tree are down a couple levels. Boom! No mining going on over here. Uh, if we come down a little bit further, this floor I need to dig out, do that some other time. But I have diggers down here doing a bunch of work, and they uncovered um, some ore, but you can see it's just in a cluster. And I dug out manually all of the iron ore. We don't need that. So before we leave, we're going to set up mining designations or miners to mine both of these things. Can't remember if that's the zinc or tin. 
but then we got the coal to we'll wait for these guys to finish up are they did they just finish i think they did perfect yeah they did so now we're down to one unemployed let's get a bunch of miners down here i'm gonna put some lights temporarily we're gonna need to put some kind of dorm down on this floor too for these miners We'll do something semi-rushed. I feel like we've spent a lot of time over here. And I do want to come back. But I'm kind of anxious to get back to the main colony and reverse the, um, the downward spiral on our food situation. All right, let's see. Yeah, you can see the ore that we're after is all in one little cluster. Oh, it's kind of a long cluster. Then there's nothing. You know, nothing but iron around it. I mean, it's like a just goes down to nothing. In terms of dorms, can we do these somehow based off of this stairway? Let's do something like that. We'll take, I'm going to need all of these blocks. Let me cover up the beds first. I'm just going to measure. Diagonally from the bottom step ish. Probably right there. One, two, three, four. And then let's do the first storm thing kind of here. Gives me an opportunity to do it symmetrically later. Uh, and then let's do rows of 10 beds. We're actually going to have a fair number of miners down here. Beds on top of that. Nine, ten. So that'll be the dimensions of our rooms. see how much room we have before we start running into things. Looks like that would do it. We might want to put cut through on the outside. We'll see. Or on somewhere in the middle so they can kind of get out of the room a little easier. Although they'll be able to hop the wall. So we haven't put greenery on these ones. That's the end of my bricks. Let's grab some more cobblestone. And fill this all in with beds. Cool. I like it. And what does that get us? That gets uh, 60, right? That's a lot. That's a lot. That'll get us started. I'm going to go get our little groceries kitchens down. Let's do all these first. Maybe it's faster. Just the grocery. Uh, we still have diggers doing their thing. Uh, looks like some people are interested in these beds. It must not be in a bad location. All right, now how do we get miners in this area? Let's just start placing them a bunch. Uh, we'll do one at a one or at a time and see if we can't get like fifteen each or something. Miner job, boom. All right, let's do the light ones. One, two. Sorry, I always do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, that's 15. Now let's do the other ones. OK, 
Okay, that's 15 of those. So we have 30 miners. 15 on each kind of ore. I think that's a decent start, right? So that's 30 jobs. And again, we have 60 beds. Should we do five more of each before we head out? And then maybe throw some more guards down. I think that's what I'm going to do. So one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, right? So now it's 20 of each. Um, I have workers that are going to come off of doing their digging. Let's take a look at the colony. Because I don't want to recruit necessarily and then have a bunch of workers free up and just stand around eating food. So let's look at the colony jobs. I've got 20 construction workers. So I need 21 minor, 21 new people basically. And then 20 will roll off the jobs. So 21 new people. Let's do it. Recruit. 21. Boom. That leaves 20 open positions and those will get filled as our diggers finish what they're doing. That might be all we need to do right now. I could set up more digging designations. Man, I've spent a bunch of time over here between episodes. We'll let these guys, you can see there's multiple digging designa designations already set up. There's another cluster of ore. And we may come back, set up a dorm, and get more miners down. Probably will, if this is going to be necessary for our kind of ammunition in that. Which I think it might be. Let's hop on out of here. And maybe place some more guards. We have two tiers. Um, threat level is 27. Even with... Yeah, even with everybody hired. I think we're good. I don't even think we need to do more guards just yet. We might later as we ramp things up. Let's grab the compass. And I think I'm going to make my way back to our main colony. It's a little bit of a walk. But yeah, I will go, we're going to head over there and work on our food situation. I think we're going to ramp up our underground fishing and cooking and then possibly ramp up our wheat production. We'll see. There's our towers that have the caps on top. Still not sure what to do with those. Let me know your thoughts. I do like the shape of the top. Just not sure which one to go with. Let me know. I'll leave it for now for probably for a couple episodes at least. Let's hop out of here. Yeah, I will meet you back over at the main colony. All right, home, sweet home. We're back at the main colony. Let's hop in. Things are looking good. We still need some, <laughs> we still need lighting on the top floors or upper floors. Man, this place is pretty huge, but underneath it is way bigger than this. So let's hop in. We'll have to jump a wall here. So many places for guards at this county. We don't even have them all placed. We're going to head down. Pretty sure everybody's doing well. Let's head down. And I think we want to go down to the second floor underground. And we're going to do some serious expansion of our fishing operation. And then we're going to do some serious expansion of the cooking. So if we look at our inventory... We noticed this, I think, a few episodes ago. Fish, we've got a bunch of fish that can't be eaten here yet, right? They're, they're just not cooked. And I think we just need stoves. So we'll put down... We can maybe even start with that. Let's go down another floor. Let's see if we have a crafting row that we could make use of. These guys are the dye workers. Uh, those are like knowledge workers, I guess. What about over this way? Anything? Looking for like a whole row that might be free for us. Doesn't look like we have one down here. 
we could do a whole kind of kitchen's wing or a stove wing over here. Um, let's see. We're gonna have to build some stuff out. It looks like. I don't have anything back this way. Oh man, yeah, we might be doing a little building here too. Oh man, we have such a huge colony spread across a lot of the underground here. But let's do it. Let's see what we have going on here in terms of spacing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we just want one more bed and then close this off. Let's get to doing some of this. Some beds on the hot bar. Is that it? We have a gap. Oh, I've got some people doing mining in here. I see. Yeah, there's a little gap before the last bed. Uh, I'm not sure why that has to be like that. I wonder if we could just shorten this off by one. And then stick to having it just come out ten beds. That may have been because of the way things get wider or shorter with the stairway. I bet that's it. One, two, three, four. We'll stick with what we have here. Let's build this out a bit. Torches. There. Looks like a crafting room. And it's the second one, so it's going to get a torch. Just trying to think of where to put the stoves. We could put them in rooms all the way back this way. So I think I'm leaving gap of four, right? One, two, three, four blocks. So one, two, three, four. That would be the start of the next row of things. So this would be a crafting room. This would be a dorm. We want this only 10 beds. One, two, three, four. Of course, we have all of this dirt that's in our way, this stone. Um, let's see what the story is with that. If we have any um, miners working behind the walls over here. It doesn't look like we do. It looks like they're done doing what they need to do over here. So I'm going to pull up some of this stuff. I'm going to get a worker to put the flooring down here. In fact, we can use these guys. Construction digger. We're going to take all of this dark stone out. Six unemployed here at the main colony. Boom, all that goes. Um, I don't... Oh, I have some stuff over here. A kitchen and a tool shop. Maybe we'll just put the workers here. One, two, three. One, two, and beds are probably close enough. And I'm thinking this might be the first row of stoves. Hmm. And then maybe I can move these and have this and maybe move those and have this entire row all the way down be stoves for cooking fish. Let's kind of plan for that. I'm going to build this out a bit. As far as we can anyway. And then this is all going to be stoves. 
and we'll catch up on the backlog of fish we have, and we're going to be growing or harvesting a ton more fish. We'll probably see our threat rating climb up quite a bit here too, and we're going to be recruiting a bunch of people. Let's see, stoves right there. We have a hundred available to us right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's do it like that, maybe, to start. And crates. Oops. Oops, yeah, it's clicking on the station, not where I want. Boom. You there and you there. What does that get us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen plus another fourteen, right? So is that thirty? Thirty stoves right there. Let's recruit. Boom. And then let's not make this pretty till we can put the ends on. So I'm not going to do the greenery, but I will do a couple dorms next to this. Get that finished out. Beds. All right, that's plenty of beds for these new workers. And now we need our groceries and our tool stations. And I think I've just been putting these on the workrooms. So we might just need, yeah, one set of these. Boom, and then we can't do it on that side yet because we're going to tear up that floor and fill that in with wood. And here come the new workers, or are these guys coming to sleep or work? Looks like they're coming to work. All right, now let's go back up and start thinking about fish. Like a lot more fish. We might even do wheat too. So what we're working on is... You look at the total meals in the top right, it's down to 110,000. That's a whole lot. And um, it'll last for quite a long time, but it's trending down. And that's kind of our problem. What are these guys doing? Writers. How many writers do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten writers. We need to go find a new home for these guys. Do that downstairs. Maybe they can hang out with these composters for now. Can I get 10 in here? Let's do it. These guys are mining what? Copper, of all things. Okay, writer's desk. That'll do. OK, 
Okay, so those guys have been sufficiently moved down a floor. And what we want to do is extend this pool of water into this work area and then turn this into fishing. Not sure if we're going to need to move these boxes. Maybe that one. So yeah, this gets to be a little tricky, right? Anytime we deal with water, I get a little nervous. Get a little nervous. Because we've already had two floods. <laughs> this one, I don't want a third one. So how can we do this? I'm going to chew things back and we'll, we'll replace them soon enough. But um, let me get these blocks... And I think that's it. Let's take a look. We have one little gap walkway. And then that thing is three wide. So basically, this, this, and this are going to become stone. And I want that stone so when I'm on the floor underneath, I don't accidentally dig into the floor thinking that there's nothing up there and I dig into the water. So I'm purposely going to make this whole floor where the... Water trough is going to sit. I'm going to make that all stone. Or cobblestone. Then same thing here. This is going to end at two, one space before the door. And then we just bank this thing up. I'm kind of rushing. I probably need to slow down <laughs> because... Oh man, this is risky when it goes wrong. It could be devastating. I'm going to chew this out. We'll put it back, but I just don't want it in my way right now. And we're going to bridge these two together. I'm going to let the water ride along the wood. And then find its way in here. And then we're going to cap it off. Fill all this in. I think we're safe, right? This is fully protected. Water's not going to slosh out of here or anything. That should be plenty good. Let's open up the dam here and let the water go. Uh, once it's opened, I can just cl close it pretty fast. Um, and then we need to fill in these blocks. We can use something a little easier. Grass. Whoops. In fact, let's cork this end now. Point. Fill this up with grass. Get rid of the water. And now we have our new trough. Safe and sound. And we'll do another one over there. And we might do a few more of these. I'm just taking extra precaution because, man, if we flood out, that's no fun. No fun at all. Boom, boom. You guys get those back. Okay. Tool station. I like it. Now let's put down a bunch of... Fishermen, fisherwomen, blocks here, right there. We got a, we have a hundred. One, two, three, four. All right, I counted 30 total workers there. 
That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then blocks or crates can start on this one, I think. Is that how I have them lined up? Yeah. And then just every other spot. I'm hopping over uh, these fishing poles, which is why my guy's jumping around. I think that's it. I think that's it. Recruit. Boom. We'll watch our food. It'd be nice to see that thing climb up to 112,000 before we're done here. Let's build this area out. What do we need? Two dorms and then we'll get the work area. This may get converted over to fishing too, which is going to be a little bit more of a challenge. We have a bunch of woodcutters potentially to move. There's, this row actually looks like it is all woodcutters, so we'll probably leave that as is. Um, but this is probably the only floor where I can really easily move water. I do think I have a small water trough down on the floor below. I guess that's maybe an option. What's the story on beds here? Uh, looks like they start right on the wall. And it's a little cramped. Nine. It's close to being the full length. Alright, let's do the same thing. This time we're going to have to end the trough over here. Right? All right, let's build our trough. We're going to take this out again. Not too bad. I do feel like I'm rushing. <laughs> I hope I don't make some big mistakes. Let's see. It looks good to me. It looks good to me. We'll cork that. So we just need to uncork this really for just a second or two. Then we're really done. And then once we cross this threshold, we can cork this side. We should be good to go. Um, I'm just going to use these blocks for speed. I know they're a little bit longer to chew back, but they're not actually too bad. Okay, we've got another pool set up. I like it. I like it. Sure, there's a slightly faster way to do it, but like I said, man, I just, after two floods, the second one was pretty brutal to recover from. Just want to take extra precautions. OK, 
Okay. Looks good. Let's put our workers down. It's going to be 28 this time, it looks like. Still at a 111,000 food. We were trending downward, so it may take a little bit of work to reverse that. And we'd really like to have that accelerating pretty high because we want to add, we want to max out this colony. So we're going to need a ton of food. So like I said, we may need to actually move those log choppers down um, deeper underground and just have this entire floor be people that are doing fishing. And maybe the floor below it have a lot of people that are doing cooking. Let's take a look at the inventory on fish. Okay, 49,523. I'm going to recruit. Here comes another, whatever that was, 28 people. Now what? Now what? Let's see how much of this row is all fishing. It's a brand new set of workers there. Come through. Okay, looks like I've got a spot here that could change out. What are these? Primitive cooks. Yeah, I want this fishing all the way down. All the way down. So let's get these guys out of here. Primitive cooks. Looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, ten primitive cooks. Let's find them another home. Somewhere downstairs. Maybe they can team up with these guys. Primitive cooks. press where would you be primitive cooks fire pit I see okay we had 10 of these that'll do so that's those moved what was the other one we wanted to move These guys probably all need to move. Okay, here's our big fishing row. I see a fisherman all the way down that way, so it's got to be this way. What are you guys doing? Tinkerers. Hmm. Do we even need more tinkerers? One, two, three, four, five. Looks like ten more tinkerers. Find a home for them. We might go down two floors with these guys. I think we need a ton of these. And it wouldn't hurt for them to have their own big giant row. Maybe this row right here would do. We have two dorms. Let's build out a worker room here. That was strange. I need torches. There. Don't fall down the stairs. You're going to have to come in, aren't you? I think we do three usually. Something like that. And this gets 10 tinker tables. Where are those tinkerers tables?
crates. Those aren't crates. Something like that. That'll do. There's our tinker tables. And let's give these guys what they need. One of those. One of those. And like I said, when we get um, to doing more organizing, man, if I ever get around to it, uh, we'll move more tinker tables in this entire row. I think we have quite a few of those in the colony. We look at our jobs. Are those called tinkerers or what would those even be called? Tinker, 26. Oh, we don't have that many. thought we had more than that. The most we have are our guards. That makes sense. And look at the fishermen, 189. And we're in the process of adding more. Let's get back to it. I think it came down two floors, right? Okay, let's find our fishermen row. There it is. There's some fishermen right there. So we'll probably clear out this row too. Archers. But the big row is in the back there. I can see them. Not sure what they're doing. Where might you guys be going? End of the shift. Yeah, they're heading off to bed. All right, this is our new trough area. Let's do it. Kind of know what to do now. I know the routine. Food's at 112, so we're slowly climbing. But like I mentioned, we have... Um, we really want to beef up the size of this colony. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot. We're going to need to get very serious about food production if we want to max this out. And this fish is a kind of a space efficient way to do it, I think. And it kind of make, feels a little better doing this underground than having a bunch of berry farms. I know we do have a bunch of berry farms. <laughs> One floor underground. But I don't feel as bad about the fishing being underground. It doesn't feel quite as out of place as growing crops down here. We do have three, I think, three empty floors near the top of this castle that we could do more barley process or um, wheat processing. Okay, we're getting to the edge. All right, we are sealed off at this end. The floor is taken care of. The little trough is taken care of. Let's do it. Use these light bricks again to fill in, just to displace the water. Looks good. Looks good. We have another fishing trough. Let's add some more workers. Increasing our population by leaps and bounds. And our food production as well. Whoops. Didn't take.
All right, that's 32 new ones. Let's see, can we make use of those existing crates? We can. Ooh, bumpy, bumpy road. We'll just do it like this, a little different than usual, but that's all right. And recruit, recruit, recruit. And then we're gonna do one last little room here and then we'll call it an episode. And I might do, might try and do some of this between episodes. I do want to get more more fishing going and maybe in this row looks like we already have it started we just like i said between episodes maybe i can move these fletchers down a few floors maybe even the woodcutters too just because since we have the water up here it is kind of convenient mining let's see how are we doing on ores and that maybe we can take a look at our inventory here before we close out um, sulfur looks great. Silica sand looks great. Poison wisteria flowers look great. Mineral oil, that might be on a quota. Doesn't look like we have a whole lot. Gunpowder is okay. 2388. We don't have anybody shooting guns yet. That's my concern. And then saltpeter looks low too. Uh, what about the ore ores? They're mining. Uh, copper looks okay. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. 227,000 copper. So we'll probably pull some people off copper as we see it. Um, yeah, 154,000 ingots. So as we come across copper miners like this, when we're clearing out this area, I just won't, I won't fill them, backfill them. It's like we have plenty of copper. So yeah, let's do that one little fishing trough. The one last one left in this row, I think. And then we'll call it an episode. And like I said, I'll do some of this between episodes because it's a lot of the same thing over and over again. But we need to scale up. We need to scale up. Um, right now our population is at 1,957. So, and our max right now is 4,000. I definitely want to get to 4,000, right? So that's double our population size, which means double the food consumption. And since we were just losing food, that means we need at least double the food production we had when we started this episode just to get to 4,000. And that's not even the highest, right? If we look at colony points, colonist capacity, we have five more upgrades. The next upgrade gets us a thousand more colonists. So at a minimum, it's going to be like 9,000 colonists. <laughs> so that's why I'm spending time on this. Like I said, I'll do some between episodes. We also need to look at our, um, once we get a little more of this food stuff squared away, I want to get back to looking at the steel lock boxes. And our gunpowder production and our new, our, our better guards, right? The ones that can shoot. Once we get those, we can actually replace some of the guards we have. Probably a lot of them. And then um, get more guards placed. We'll see. I am increasing the threat rating while I'm doing this. I should have probably looked to see what it was when we started. Because we are adding a lot of workers. All right. Make sure this is all closed off. Looks good. This room's not real big yet. We might be able to push that open with um, some diggers. All right, that can go. Whoops, a little too fast. Jump the gun there. Now I can plug it. Okay, that's all good. This is where I wouldn't want to accidentally nick that brick. That would be a problem. Let's get these put back.
I don't think there's room on the other side to do it, right? No, we're right up against the wall. Curious if this is the end of the line here for our safe zone. Oh, and look at this. There's a whole room back there. <laughs> All right, I'll look into that in between episodes. I think we're safe from floods, but I'm going to patch this. I'm going to plug this just in case they're still doing digging. I don't think they are. But yeah, we'll be able to extend this even further. Oh, man. Let me put down the fisher people here, and then we'll call it. I uh, only have 15 left. Huh. I wonder why those aren't replenishing faster. Probably not a priority. Thirteen. I'm gonna leave it at thirteen just until we get more fishermen. Uh and then let's put crates down. These can actually start here. Boom. To the other side too while we're at it. I think that's about right. Don't need that one. All right, and recruit. Kill all jobs. Boom. Not bad. Let's see how many fisher people we ended up with. We're at 112, so our food situation total meals has re gone, you know, in the positive now. That's what we want. We have 234 fishermen. Do we have... How many wheat farmers? 34. That's another option for us, too. But we have so much room underground. So much room. Not just on this floor, but below. Yeah, I'll do a little bit more of this. Maybe a lot of this. We'll leave these guys to do their buckets of water. We may need to scale that up as well. But maybe all this pottery could move. Yeah, more pottery over there. We could get that all in one big long row. How are we doing on that kind of stuff? The sellable kind of stuff. 15,000 earthenware. 2,000 gold jewelry. 101 golden shields. That must be on a quota too. Keeping it down. Um, do we have a bunch of gold? Bronze ingots, brass ingots. Yeah, we have a ton of gold. So yeah, we need to go through all these too. We are finally mining zinc and we're mining tin. It's getting turned into something. We'll have to look at all that. Oh, we have eyeglasses. Not bad. There's our coal starting to accumulate. That's cool to see. But tin's being chewed up for something. Not sure what that's going into. Brass or something, who knows. Anyway, for now, this is Glidercat saying thanks so much for watching. Oh man, do we have a huge colony. But we're going to try and get it organized. And I keep on building. That's it for now. I will see you all in the next episode.